Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, and I am on my way to work. Yes, so I work on Saturdays sometimes because I also do acute care. But the good thing I like about doing acute care is that there's no specific time I have to be there. Like, there's not a patient waiting for me at 8 o'clock on the dot. So if I show up at, like, 805, 810, it's not that big of a deal. It just means I have to stay like five to ten minutes extra. I didn't have time to brew coffee this morning. So I'm either gonna stop by Duncan before I head into work or go to the cafeteria and get their coffee. Their coffee there is okay, but I prefer Duncan. So we'll see if I'll have some time to stop by and get them. Cause I need some energy. Commute is about 35 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes, depending on how bad traffic is. Some, most of the time, I don't mind because I get to listen to podcasts, worship music, and just kind of chill a little bit before I have to start work. But when uh, it's time to leave work and I'm tired and hungry, I just want to get home ASAP. So that's the part that gets a little bit annoying. But I just try to think about it like I can't change the traffic, so there's no point in me getting upset and aggravated. So I might as well put on something that I enjoy and just, you know, let the time pass. So that's what I'm going to do right now. happy I get to go home and just chill and relax the rest of the evening and yeah I saw about eight patients today so not too bad it was not that busy thankfully so was able to kind of like knock them out pretty quickly and finish all my notes so yeah I would say overall successful day and just gotta brave the traffic now but since it's Saturday, traffic shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. So let's go home. The next day. Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is currently super rainy and chilly. So trying to stay dry and warm, but happy Sunday. I just came back from church, I'm all the way back home. And it was such a good service. Um, the pastor talked about, you know, prioritizing trusting God over worry, and also about, you know, having idols such as money. And I thought it was a really good sermon, especially the part about, you know, anxiety and worry and choosing to trust God when those thoughts come. I definitely think it's very applicable to a lot of aspects of my life. So. Target haul. Didn't get a lot of groceries this time because I have most of the things I need, but I got a few frozen meals just for those days where I don't feel like cooking and I don't necessarily want to buy food out. I got this healthy choice grilled chicken marsala. Looks really yummy. It's 180 calories for the whole thing. So that looks really good. And then I got the PF Chang's Korean inspired pork. I've had this before and it was really yummy. Even though it says the spice level is four, it's not that spicy. And that says a lot coming from a girl that doesn't really like spicy food like that. So probably gonna have that today for lunch. And then bowl, also by Healthy Choice. Um, this is a spicy beef teriyaki. 
and the whole thing's 170 and yeah how much is the korean pork that one's the korean pork is 490 so a little bit more but still delicious and then i got some garlic naan bread that'll be really yummy that will go really well with some pasta got penne alfredo sauce and boom chicka pop the sweet and salty it's so good oh my gosh and then i like to get those mini kind bars just to throw in my bag you know at work and then i got bananas which is gonna go here for non-food related items i got new bath rugs i got a set of two these were i believe 20 bucks which is a really good deal and it feels pretty soft so can't wait to put these in my bathroom i got drano which much needed i got um, laundry detergent and then i got some dryer sheets and of course self scrub so i can clean my tub uh swifter dusters trash bags and the best toilet paper on the market charmin ultra soft the next morning good morning guys it is monday it is 9 48 i'm about to have my coffee i'm off work today so the plan is to actually do the things i meant to do yesterday because when i got home from church i may or may not have been binging love is blind season six and yeah it was pretty interesting, a lot of drama this season, and a lot of nonsense, so definitely a hot mess, but entertaining nonetheless. I just feel like these people can't be serious, right? Like, some of the things that come out of their mouth, I'm like, you're joking, right? But anyways, I can't wait for the rest of the episodes to come out. Do you like my mug? It's a bunch of cats with Christmas hats. I got a new laptop, so I figured we can do a unboxing haul. So for reference, this is my old laptop. It's a Microsoft Surface Laptop 2, and the screen just doesn't stay up anymore. It'll just fall. And I tried to get it fixed, but the screen doesn't work. The touchscreen doesn't work anymore, and the hinge is broken and the battery doesn't last either. So time for an upgrade. I've had this baby for about four years, almost five years. So time to say goodbye. Say hello to the new. All right, so I got an HP this time. Honestly, I did not do that much research. I literally just went on YouTube, watched a couple of videos about it look at some of the reviews and just said you know what whatever i need a new laptop and i just bought it and it had a decent price so let's see Ooh, ah ooh. <laughs> oh gosh this is so much heavier than my previous laptop i don't know how i feel about it first impression much heavier so let's take her out of this how do i do this Ah, there we go. 
and uh, there she is. So this is the HP 360 2-in-1, and it's in a 15.6 inch screen. Let's see the inside. She is beauty. She is grace. This looks really nice, actually. Yeah, so this is the HP NV X360 laptop. And you can see here the stickers. Yeah, it looks really nice. But like I said, it's so much bigger than my previous computer. So I'm definitely going to have to get used to how heavy it is. But I'm excited though, because especially with starting a YouTube channel and editing, my old laptop would just start overheating after like 30 minutes to an hour of editing. And the battery, like the charger had to be plugged in the whole time in order for it to stay on, because otherwise it would die after 20 minutes of being unplugged. So I'm really happy to finally have a new laptop and you know, hopefully everything works out. But yeah, this is she.